The city of Detroit has not had a playoff winner or a playoff win collectively in nine years since 2013. It is now 2022. That's 0 for 4. Yeah. No sports team, professional sports team in the city of Detroit has had any success over the course of nine years. When will it end? Thought it was going to end with the Tigers? It did not. It got worse. Thought it was going to end this year with the Lions? It did not. It seems like it's getting worse. Will it end with the Detroit Pistons and or Detroit Red Wings? What say you and what is your ranking for teams here in Detroit? Uh, I think it's going to be the Red Wings or the Pistons. I think it's probably the easiest for the Pistons because basketball is an easier sport. You get one guy in basketball, <clears throat> excuse me, you get one guy in basketball and it can turn the tire to your team. I mean, look what LeBron did out now. He's a, he's a different one guy, mm -hmm. but look what LeBron did for that Cleveland Cavs team back in 2003. You get guys, man, you're starting to look. You got Jalen, you got Jay Nivey, you got Jalen Doran. You see, we, there's some belief there in Killian Hayes, Kate Cunningham, year two. So basketball is probably easiest, but I think Steve, uh, Stevie Y. Having the Iserman in play, Iserman plan in place. We'll talk to D Mac about that. I think they're probably on track to do it first. They may sneak into the playoffs this year, but it might be a tie between the Pistons and the Red Wings in 2023. I got the Red Wings easy because yeah. it's easy to make the playoffs in hockey easier, and it's easier. But not in this, div not in our our division. Though. I know, but you still can, you could still get in there, and I think they are on the precipice of coming back to the NHL where they belong and. To win a game, an eight can beat a one, one game, two mm -hmm. games, for sure. In the NBA, that ain't happening. So if you're asking who's going to win a playoff game first, ah. it's the Red Wings first. It's I, I kind of equated it, it just to be a, fair. A, doesn't a play-in count as a win? Yes, yeah. it, does. It, it does. There you go. And, and I guess, you know, for the Lions, I equate one playoff win, Maz, to one playoff series yes. win. For the Pistons or the Red Wings, but hell, I'll take a playoff win, just one yeah. game, at this point. I'll take a playoff. Right there, you go. You know, are you kidding? I, I think if I had to rank the teams in where they are right now, and again, I, I was wrong about the Lions, and I think I, I think maybe, I, I, I think I was wrong about the Lions, and I'm gonna just start going with Braylon. Seriously, Braylon is the only reasonable person here on the show, and I really believe that. He has said he's just going to take a wait and see approach, and I don't think there's anything wrong with it. And I think, you know, I think that's to give you credit. You're right. Yeah. I don't think that's any fun being a fan, but being a sports fan, we're like up and down and up and down. We hate being here, right? We hate being true in the middle. But that's almost yeah. what you've got to do to be a Lions fan. That's almost what you have to do to be a Lions fan. You can't let it bother you.